Okay, started whatever day this is, day two of hiking. Just ate breakfast, started off hiking 10.2 kilometers today. And then we get to stay at this hotel with a renowned onsen. Onsen. Onsen, which is just a community bath. So, yeah. Whoever this person is, they really take care of their rice. Yeah, I mean, well, I haven't really been to a residential area, I guess you could say, but for the most part, I would say they don't have grass here, so they obviously don't have lawnmowers. What they do is they just take a weed whacker and just go to town on it, so that's what that guy right there was doing, spraying stuff up at us, but yeah, they just go hard as hell with the weed whacker. Like, that's exactly what how that was cut there, not with a lawnmower, but the dude just went in hard with a weed whacker. And they all grow their own gardens here. The inn at the last place, the guy was the head of the like the hunting committee. So we had wild boar for supper and all the veggies they made in their field and they all collect them. So it's pretty cool. It's all locally based. Mediocre company and great views. Look at that, they got some hydro power going on here. Hydro. Look at that, renewable energy. Okay, right now we're in the Magomi post town. There's the most white people I've ever seen in one area. It's just this little road here. But yeah, it's the most white people I've ever seen in one area in this whole entire trip, other than our family. Just had our iced coffees and iced cocos at the little cafe. Just picked up our lunch. It's like cooked slash roasted buns. So it's like these little buns with like filling in them. So I got two meat and one spinach. So it's gonna be tasty, you better believe it. Made it to some cool looking lookout. Let's peep the views. Guys, I'm gonna ring the bell hard against bears. That's how you do it. We just entered bear country. No bear better step up on me. Boy, I'm gonna take that shotty right to his nostrils. Now, we're seriously getting the bear warning. Got another bell. No bear better step up on me or I'm gonna stick, stick this, this shotty up where the, the sun don't shine. Just pulled ourselves up to a nice little rest stop. Have a little drink and a snack. That's what it's all about. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. Well, we're like still six kilometers away from where we're staying, but the onsen, like the community bath, is you have to be 100% naked. So you just chill in the nude with like. 10 other Japanese people, so I guess that'll be fun. We have now entered the thick jungle forest on our way to lunch. As you can see there, we're surrounded by some forest. It's very nice. Just showed up at our little lunch spot. Got this nice little sheltered inn, and we got these, the buns are still nice and hot, so we're going to eat them up. Just finish our hot buns. Now we have five kilometers until we reach the town with our hotel. So I'm gonna walk through the woods, hopefully not encounter any wild animals and just be safe. We're now going to two waterfalls along the path. I'm not sure if this is one, if this is the first waterfall, this is weak, but hopefully it's not. There's probably some more, so we'll check it out. Guys, the deer fell in. JK, it's a tree. Oh, it's 
my stuff right here would be perfect in like West Coast Canada. This would like fit in. You think you're on BC in BC or something like that. Yeah, so what I showed you before was not the waterfall. We have to walk on a on a road to get to the waterfall, but it's not that far, so we'll check the new ones out. I think we're coming up on the first waterfall. Let's check it out. Yeah, there's a lot of white people. This is definitely it. Currently on our way down the cobblestone steps. Below that little S curve. Beautiful. On days like today, when it's plus 30 out, you gotta stay hydrated. Water is key <coughs> to life. <coughs> Just showed up in some little town. It's nice and dainty. Actually, I don't think it's a town. It's just really a group of homes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, we're in like the tiniest little town ever, group of homes, and there's one of those golf driving ranges here. Like some guy just set it up in his backyard. I'm gonna check it out. We're now 1.5 kilometers away from our town we're staying in. We're now making our way down this dirt path and then I'm sure we'll be in the town and then we're gonna look around and then take the shuttle to the museum or to the hotel. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, just entering Smogger right now. This is their hydroelectric water plant or electricity plant, I guess. They use the water from the the river to power some stuff. You know, that's that's just good in the long run. Made it into practically Banff. Okay, we don't catch our shuttle in to our hotel in an hour, so we're gonna check out this museum. We're done in the museum now, waiting for the bus so we can catch it up to the inn. Let's do this. I want to have a shower. Okay, it's been like four, three or four hours since my last update. We are now in the hotel. It's, we have like a traditional, I guess you could say, Ryukin room like that with the tatami floors and everything except we have like our own bathroom in our room with a, a shower and a toilet so yeah we just relaxed i just got out of the shower we're eating supper in an hour and yeah might do something after so stay tuned i got an update because we just found the hotel gave us these sweet japanese socks so let's check them out Ooh, they're a little bit small because Japanese people usually have smaller feet, so they're really tight. But yeah, they got that nice little hole there. They have like traditional Japanese shoes too that you'd wear that are just like this, so they make these socks special for them. But yeah, they're pretty sweet. Okay, we just finished supper. It was super good. Me and Neil are going to go down to the Oinsen right now, get Nike. Um, and then after, we're going to go get some freaking vending machine french fries so stay tuned for that okay me and neil just got back from our bathe it was awesome now we're gonna go get some freaking vending machine french fries let's go okay we're about to grab some vending machine french fries it's gonna be real tasty i'm more than just a number yeah, I just tried the french fries and they're nothing special, so thumbs down for the vending french fries. And we're back in the room, just brushing my teeth right now. 
for using the hotel one because I'm too lazy to get the stuff out of my bag. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Subscribe if you're new.